I think that's the way we should use the past, not as something that stops us or poisons us, but we use it as compost for the future and we put it together in ways that become good for us and good for people that we serve. This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Judy Rodman. Previously, episode 737 of the 12 Minute Convos podcast. It's been just two years, 11 months, 24 days, 23 hours, and 45 minutes, plus or minus, probably like two minutes, right? The secret to a happy, prosperous life is serving others in ways that are really useful to them. And I highly recommend it. That was then. This is now. Judy, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you in your world? I am excellent, my friend. I so appreciated our conversation. We tapped into the voice. And, you know, it's really intriguing how my days have themes without me knowing. And today, definitely the conversational voice and walking and the value that goes with that has been the theme. I'm so glad to end uh, this day with your conversation, my friend. (laughs) Such a grand opportunity. So tell me, how have things evolved? What's going on? Things are great. I just continue to try and become a better teacher by learning more from every source that I can, including my students. And so I I want to grow my value as a teacher. And the evidence of that is always in the successes of my clients. So I've got some ones that I'm really, really happy about that like have had muscle tension, dysphonia and scar tissue and things like that that are doing better and better and better and starting to perform again and speak again. And so that's what's going on, just like uh, working and students and doing some performing here and there. And, you know, every day is a new adventure. Now, when you say just, it really quantifies this on the lesser portion that you are doing something that's minuscule, right? But the truth is, like, you are doing things by being consistent. And this is like, what, over 22 years now? Is it, was that around the time? Yes, of teaching, you're right. I've been in the music business for now over 50, but but teaching, yes, about 22 years, you're right. That's nothing short of amazing. So, <laughs> I mean, own that, right? Like, please own that. Your voice is such of an important aspect of delivering messages, as you explain to us. Now, give us an insight as to how you've seen voices really done that in terms of delivering their messages. Yes, and you've hit on the most important part. Otherwise, there'd be a lot of really strange voices that never would have been successful. The most important thing about the voice is that you know what the heck you're making a sound for, which is that you're delivering a message. So the technique should be, and I definitely teach technique, but it should be in the service of making someone respond. And that's why we deliver messages, whether it's to other people, to ourselves, to God, to people that are fictional or whatever. It's like acting technique. You really want to get a response. Even when we moan, we want a response from our own bodies, like to comfort ourselves and to feel comforted. So that's the first order of business is to get that straight. Who are we talking to and how do we want them to respond? And that changes everything. And then I teach technique that has to do with the balance of breath support and breath control, which you need and their opposing forces, plus the opening of the throat. And that gives you both uh, better sound, better resonance because you're reaching your resonation zones. And it also gives you a healthier voice because you're not damming up pressure since the channel is open. Mm -hmm. So it's a three-pronged process with, I again, arguably the most important one being the last one that I've come up with, which is, uh, I call it power path and performance, which is simply the power of the breath the voice should take through an open throat instead of tight throat and performance meaning who am I talking to and what do I want that response to be? If you put those three things together, the synergy is your best voice and your most powerful voice in that it's the most successful in getting the response you want. It's foundational principles to life as well. Right. You walked away from a family model, right? Way back then. Uh, the rebellious you 
And uh, so much of singing can feel as though it's a rebellion, yeah? like that opening up of the throat, if you were, all right, which is naturally closed to protect us from doing things like drowning, of course, right? Right. But there's a point there where it's not compromised, but it's risky, isn't it? But you have a feeling, a deep feeling that this is something that you should be doing. It's applicable, isn't it, across life? It the surely foundations is. foundations you just laid. Yes, yes. You know, you got to know why you're doing things. I did this online, it was a quiz on temperaments, and I found out that my temperament is the questioner, Mm -hmm. and I like that. I like knowing why I'm doing things. I think that means at the end of the day or the end of your life, you are not feeling like your journey was not prosperous, but no matter all the dark days or the positive days or whatever, you feel like your journey was prosperous. And you're right, there's a big metaphor in many ways of life in general to best voice. Hmm. So we want to know why we're doing things and then we can do them better. Now there's someone in the background there, right? He's called your husband, <laughs> who I'm guessing has been supporting. Now is he still around? That he is, is he question. is. Wonderful, right? So how has he been affected by what you've been teaching? Well, he has been in the business as well, off and on. He kind of had a couple of decades of retirement, but then he came back out for us to do our album in 2015. But him, the fact that he is a classically trained musician who also, you know, went out on the road with Tanya Tucker and all that, he's he's well-rounded as well. And he understands my crazy life and my crazy business because that's where we met was in the music business. So he's retired. I am not. But if I have a brainstorming session that I'm in need of, he is a good wall to bounce off of. He's got a lot of wisdom and he does understand the creative process and things that drive me. And so we've become partners in life, you know, not just husband and wife, but partners in our journey. Hmm. Now, there's a son there that you guys produce, right? (laughs) Yes, you're right. You've done your homework. Uh, How is he doing? He's doing great. And he has inherited the creative gene from both his father and me. His is manifesting in an amateur kind of blues guitar player, which he is, Hmm. but also professionally as a photojournalist and now as an art welder. And we've sent him back to school so that he can become, you know, the computer automated design is going to be his new field. Mm. But it's funny, and this goes into the voice and everything that we do in life. Everything he's done in his past, he was in the Navy for a while, and he's done so many different things, are now converging into his new path. I find that everything we've ever done becomes useful in not just for back then, but for now. And we put it together in many synergistic ways. And I think that's the way we should use the past, not as something that bogs us down or stops us or poisons us, but we use it as compost for the future. And Mm -hmm. we put it together in ways that become good for us and good for people that we serve. You were adamant as well in sharing that uh, you don't just say, okay, you've gotten enough compost, but you continue, right? (laughs) The teacher also needs to create is something you share that I believe is very powerful. How are you doing that? How is Judy the teacher? uh, How is she continuing to create? Well, I just got back from Key West and the Trop Rock Festival down there, which was wild and woolly. (laughs) And I did three shows with a production client of mine that I I produced her album and am her vocal coach and her co-writer on the album. So she wanted me to come down and play piano. And since my name is more known than hers right now, it was helpful to her if I come down and not just play piano and do backgrounds on her stuff, but also perform some of my own songs from the MTM Records days, as well as the record that my husband and I put out in 2015. So I got to go and remember what really works. Oh, love it. <laughs> and it was really fun. Besides that, I got to go to the beach. Oh, I love it. Yeah, you got a taste of what is the Caribbean water, right? That comes up there somewhat, yeah? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Salt water. Salt water is my healer. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Well, Judy, I think it's a grand opportunity that I get to call in, check in, and see where you are, but more so... Uh, both motivational and inspirational to hear that you've continued on your path that you've set out on and you're inspiring others. You shared with us that 
it's important to serve. The secret of life is serving people, is what you said. Yes. And you've done that. You're walking the talk. So many times we don't get a chance to look back, right? To reflect mm-hmm. on what we've accomplished. But I can tell you from my podcast, Eyes Looking Forward, wow, well done. I appreciate <laughs> what you're doing. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. In closing, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Well, I finally got my first book on Amazon. Oh, and, wow. uh, What's the I name did. of it? Singing in the Studio. Mm-hmm. SIS. Yeah, it's part of the course that I've had out for a while. But I decided that, you know, a lot of people, they just want to get the ebook instead of the whole full course with the, with the audio stuff in it. So, so it's on Amazon, Singing in the Studio. Oh, okay. So I said SIS, but it really sits, right? Yeah, S-I-T-S, exactly. Sit, singing Sits, yes. in the studio. All right, all right, well done. All right, I'll check <laughs> that out. I'll be checking that out. All right, all right. Well, again, my friend, this is a great pleasure. Is there anything else you'd like to share before we leave? The only other thing I would say is that you have one of the best voices I've ever heard as far as your speaking voice. So it's lovely to hear. And I think that's one thing that you give your listeners. Just listening to your voice makes it a better day. <laughs> I appreciate that. Now, coming from Judy, folks, can you <laughs> Imagine what that endorsement is worth. That, 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 that is huge. I appreciate that tremendously. Again, a pleasure I treasure. Judy Rudman, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. This podcast is produced by Pod Edits. Visit podedits.com for professional podcast publishing.